Tash Dile everyone, I'm Sakina Butt and welcome to Tibet This Week, a weekly feature in English that tells you about this week's news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines first. Given genuine autonomy, we are committed to remaining within People's Republic of China. His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Al Jazeera. Tibetans inside Tibet are the torchbearers of Tibetan movement, says His Holiness the Dalai Lama. CTA President Dr. Lopsang Singe concludes visit to Scandinavia. Education Minister Ngoduk Tsering to take over as North America representative. On Tuesday this week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama joined in conversation with the stream on Al Jazeera English. In the live interview, His Holiness said, We are not seeking independence. We are not seeking separation. In spite of past history, see, we always look to this reality. And I'm one of the person who really admire the spirit of the European Union. So you see China. I said, we are very much want a committed <coughs> remain within the people's world in China. And provided they should give us uh, the certain right with, which mentioned in Chinese constitution, these should implement fully on, 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 the, on the spot. When asked about the Rohingya crisis, His Holiness expressed sadness and mentioned that if Buddha was there, he would have definitely helped those poor Muslims. He also said that terrorism should not be practiced in the name of religion. On Friday last week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama addressed a gathering of Tibetan devotees from various parts of India, including non-Tibetan devotees from Mun, Bhutan and Britain. His Holiness emphasized his lifelong commitments towards a better humanity, preservation of Tibetan Buddhist tradition, meaningful resolution of the Tibet issue, the importance of Nalanda teaching, containing rich understanding of the workings of the mind and emotions, and the importance of Tibetan language. I always keep saying that the Tibetans inside Tibet are the real masters of the Tibetan destiny. Even when faced with dangers to their lives, they have, in every respect, shown great valor and courage in preserving the indomitable Tibetan spirit while upholding their rights and dignity as a people. His Holiness told the gathering. On Thursday last week, CTA President Dr. Lopsang Singe embarked on a five-nation visit to Europe and Canada. Dr. Singe began the first leg of his Scandinavian visit in Denmark. The President met with Danish parliamentarians and briefed them on the importance of Tibet's environment, the melting of glaciers at a rapid rate, affected by the Chinese mining operations and developmental projects on the roof of the world. President Dr. Singe spoke at the event, What Now, Tibet? Jointly organized by Amnesty Denmark, the Tibet Support Committee Denmark and the Students for Free Tibet Denmark. President touched on issues of the cause, of self-immolation protests in Tibet, religious repression, particularly in Larungkar and Yachinkar, forced nomadic resettlement, suppression of Tibetan language in the education policy, and the middle way policy of seeking genuine autonomy for the Tibetan people. For the second leg of his Scandinavia visit in Norway, President Dr. Singe at a public address said, Tibetans may have lost their country, but we will regain our freedom one day. This may take time, but as long as we connect from the beginning to the end, we reach the end where you, we succeed. However, if there is no connector, the bridge collapses in the middle and you don't reach the end. Dr. Singe, along with John Peder, Secretary General of Amnesty International Norway and Stein Ringen, visiting professor, Department of Political Economy, King's College London, spoke at a breakfast meeting on economic interest on human rights, how should liberal democracies interact with China? President Xi Jinping recently has made it very clear in the 19th Party Congress, he has said from now on, Xi Jinping thought will be socialism with Chinese characteristic in new era, which means Mao Zedong era, the unified and made China strong, Deng Xiaoping era, market economy made China rich. Now, new era is Xi Jinping's era, is they want to 
export not just one bell, one road, through one bell, one road, socialism is Chinese characteristic in the international frontier. Tibet is the litmus test. Lu Xiaobao is the litmus test. If you don't speak for Lu Xiaobao, if you don't speak for Tibet, next year they will tell you to don't speak about yourself. Don't speak about your human rights. Don't speak about environmental rights. No, it's a slippery slope. The breakfast meeting was organized by Civita, a liberal think tank dedicated to explore and strengthen the understanding and support of liberal ideas, institutions and policies to promote a society constituted on the principles of individual liberty and personal responsibility. On Wednesday this week, President Dr. Lupsang Singhe embarked on the third leg of his Scandinavia visit. Dr. Singhe addressed the Swedish parliamentarians on why Tibet matters and how supporting Tibet reflects the Scandinavian values. Referring to the various ongoing discourses at the world stage on how to deal with China, Dr. Singhe voiced the importance of understanding Tibet issue in order to understand China. Dr. Singhe expressed that the choice the Scandinavian countries and the rest of the world has is either to transform China or to transform themselves accordingly to Xi's thought, which is devoid of liberal democracy, freedom of speech and expression, human rights and human values, and rights that the Nordic nation, like Sweden, strongly believes in. Hosted by the Stockholm Association of International Affairs, Dr. Singhe spoke at the Stockholm University where he raised the issues and concerns regarding Tibet and the rise of China. Addressing the Swedish Tibet Committee, Dr. Singhe spoke of the Tibetan resilience under the leadership of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and how the Tibetans have prevailed over attempt of the China to annihilate the very identity of the Tibetans. Dr. Singhe concluded his Scandinavian visit and will next attend the Halifax Security Forum in Canada later this week. In an exclusive interview with Tibet TV, Education Minister and North America Representative Designate Ngotip Tsering responded to a question on his audience with His Holiness the Dalai Lama. The outgoing Education Minister and North America Representative said that during the audience, His Holiness the Dalai Lama advised him to work towards creating a deeper understanding of Tibetan culture and religion among Tibetan youth by emphasizing on Tibetan language. Education Minister Ngodup Tsering was appointed as North America Representative by Kasha and will officially take charge from December 1st. So much for this week. See you next time. Have a great weekend.